Hey, Juan here. Let's talk about the different uh, product managers that are out there by their seniority. So it depends on where you are in your career. Typically, when you are studying as a product manager, your first thing is that you're going to do is that you're going to focus on delivering and building features. In some cases, when you're even associate product managers, you might not even do much of the planning and you are more focusing on the execution of that feature. And here you are going to be working more on how to define user stories, how they are going to be working this feature. And for example, if you are building like a user management feature, it's like, okay, what are the things that are important for a user management? feature, what type of users do I have, what kind of level of access they have to different parts of the product, when they have been logging, who is managing this account, and so on. The next level of a product manager, when you get more senior, then you are going to be paying more attention to the product or the part of the product that you are managing. So maybe you are managing not just that feature that is the user management, but you are focusing more on the kind of payments, the localization services, the recommendation systems, localization services, meaning more like uh, how you are going to localize this service or this feature for the different needs of different markets. So for example, it can be just language localization, but it can be also like currency localization and other needs in the different types of localization that you have. And most likely you are going to have some kind of uh, understanding of how your part of the product is then integrating with the rest of the product. Usually this is going to be done through APIs. This is very technical, but also you also will understand what are the benefits and what are the needs of this user management and all the payments and all the localization services that you're building are going to help other parts of the product and how they integrate with each other. As a next level of a product manager, usually you are going to look more into how the whole product is actually working. Now here you're going to be looking more into, okay, what I'm building here is a portal for people to be able to book their travels and to actually get to new places. So think about the value that you're bringing to the person. The person doesn't need just another book traveling portal. They need, a, they need to get somewhere. What is that value that you're bringing? That is what you start to focus in at that point. You start to stop thinking about features and you start to think more about the value that you're bringing to your customers. The next one is that most likely you are not just looking into just one product, you are more looking like in a product portfolio, how these products actually build together and build up from each other. We started with the user management, then we went to how to do the payments, how to do the booking of the trips, uh, how do we bring value to our customers? But maybe our services are not just about booking troubles. It's also about helping relocating. It's about helping finding a new place where to live, helping even finding the new job for people. How they are going to move all their stuff when they're moving into that new location. All these things might be part of your product portfolio of helping people find their, their new life and the new role and the new position where they're going to be working. So here you are not just thinking about one thing. You are not just thinking about that feature anymore. You're just not thinking about that smaller part of the product or how your that product is actually bringing value to people. Is how this package of products are serving each other and they're reinforcing the value of the package, the service, the solution that you're building for your customers works. And the next level of product thinking is when you start to think about how your products are going to improve people's lives, how your products are going to have, to the degree that they have, an impact on the world, how they're going to make the world a better place. Not all of them are going to change the world radically, but some of them will, and some of them they will just do an, a small increment that is going to make certain people's lives easier. I hear you're moving away from how this product portfolio is working together into what is the vision of what we are trying to build as a company? Where is where we want to go? How are we building or how are we helping making the world a better place? That is the next level of product management. So what do you think about this list? Did I miss something? What are the parts that you have, will have included here, especially from the point of view of a product manager? 
Hit me up in the comments below and let, and let me know. If you like this topic, you probably will like this video about what the product manager career ladder is. Go check it out. I will see you in the next one. And remember, stay safe.